So if you've used Google Maps before, what you'll notice is that when you save a place, all these icons are the same type of icons, and you can't really see what the icons represent. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you could create your own custom map using the colors and labels that you want, and view it on both the computer and the iPhone. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics and AI, so subscribe to learn more. So I normally teach robotics and AI on my channel, but I did this little project on the side and had a lot of fun, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. But here's my Python code. So here I have import JSON because I put all my data in a JSON file. So you can see here I put all my places in a JSON, places.json file. So um, some stuff with the places um, depending on the address that you're looking at, the most reliable way is to use the coordinates because depending on the location you're at, sometimes the actual address can't register, at least with Folium. So I have the name of the place because I want to annotate the place and I want to categorize the different types of places that I have. So if you look at my code here, we're using Folium and then you can see we're opening up our JSON file and then we're reading in the address names and types and then after we do that, we want to zoom in at the start of the location. So that's going to be the first item. And here you can see I've categorized the different places. So we have food, activity, hotel, dessert, workout, and cafe. And then all I'm doing here is I'm looping through everything. And then I'm going to annotate it on the map. Okay, So I have some settings here where I could control how the um, text appears on my map. And then after that, I'm just going to save it to my map with labels.html. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. So you can see right here, this is my map. So you can see that I have everything nicely color coded and each of the places has the name right next to it. So now it becomes very easy to quickly take a look at your map and you know exactly what locations each of your pins represent. So this is a very nice way to do any sort of planning for traveling. And here you can see this is on my phone. I'm using a HTML viewer here. So you can see that I could view everything all locally on my iPhone. Okay, so if you found this video helpful and you want to learn more robotics and AI, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.